Now we've got a great question here from Aaron Collison, and we'll leave this as a, and Paul's always tuned in. So Paul's always thanks for tuning in and let us know. It's great. And I hope you're doing well. Aaron Collison's gone. Jim, you have built an iconic Australian business. I've bought into it and congratulate you on what you've accomplished. Thank you. Can you show me your best sales pitch for a potential franchisee? Looking for tips. No pressure, Jim. Potential <laughs> franchisee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> actually, I don't really sell French. I never did. What I, what I would, no, seriously, seriously, what I would, what I would be doing is talking to somebody about what they wanted to achieve. Yeah. And and talking about the business and what it's like and how you can be successful and why franchise versus going independent and all the different pluses and minuses and and, and take them out in the road and so forth. And what I'm really trying to find is what's the best best option for that person whether it's a franchise or whether it's something else mm. sometimes they, they shouldn't buy a franchise because they, they they really need a job they don't have the the attitude to be a franchisee and i think they're likely to fail so in that case i would actually tell them, look i'm sorry i don't think it's right for you so it's it's i don't, I don't, I don't sell anything really honestly i don't i i, I even when i'm talking to like at the, the expos when i i talk about the business in general and what it's like and making the best decision for yourself I reckon that's the the ethical way to do it. Definitely. And, and the strange thing about it is that's actually a very effective sales pitch. Mm. It really works quite well because people know that you're genuine because you're really after their interests and not just after making money, which is true. Yep. Yeah.